Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Raven's Enchanted Tarot. This evening I'm just doing a quick check-in read with Sagittarius. Um, we have got the monthly readings up already, um, but just, you know, nobody's situation's the same, so I'm just doing a quick energy slash situation check-in, see what's going on, what's coming towards you. Um, this may or may not resonate, take what does and leave the rest, it's not for you. This is still for the month of March. Um, take this as your blind spot reading. For some of you, you may not know that the energy is coming towards you. The intentions, situations, people, or you may be currently dealing with it right now. So, what is coming towards Sagittarius, please? March. What is coming towards Sagittarius? So again, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sam, cross watches, you're welcome for you as well. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius somewhere in your chat. Everybody's welcome. So what is what is going on with Sagittarius, please, Spirit? What is going on with Sagittarius? to fall out. I've got six there. Oof, okay. Right, all right. Let's get some more cards out on the tail. Oof, wow, Sag. Jeez. Right, I can... Some of you are walking away from something and I don't blame you for walking away. Wow. Right, okay. There's a lot, a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Oh my goodness me. No, no faith in a situation and no more. There's no more honesty. Right, that fool I saw, that fool fell out with the Eight of Cups. You are going on a new adventure. You're embarking on something new. You're going solo, Sagittarius. You are turning your back on something and saying goodbye. We've got a heavy, heavy reading. So kick back, relax, because... I can see there's a bit of a shitstorm going on. So the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're walking away from something that's extremely emotional. Very, very dissatisfied, very upset. You're seeking comfort from somewhere because whatever you was walking away from wasn't bringing stability. It wasn't bringing comfort. You wasn't being listened to. And you're seeking this elsewhere now. You're turning your back on a situation. I'm sorry if my throat goes a little bit funny during the reading. I'm trying to hold off a cough. I've got, I'm just not feeling very well in myself. <laughs> I'm doing these readings for you guys. Um, but you're walking away from something that's extremely emotional. You've put a lot of time and effort into this. You may have walked away in the past but decided to go back. But this is goodbye. Now, advice from spirit. I don't like this. Knight of Swords reversed and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords reversed is somebody who is very harsh, very brash. They've made a lot of, of promises that unfortunately they've not fulfilled. Quite, a, a, well, not quite very manipulative, but very, a, it's a very immature behaviour from somebody. They're acting very, very immature. This is somebody who has no qualms on coming and going from your life. They're very harsh with the words. This is somebody who doesn't care about feelings. This is somebody who wants to win at all costs in regards to something. They will lie, steal, cheat and manipulate. Now I'm saying that because we've got Justice reversed, Santa Libra. So there is definitely some lies and manipulation going on. There may be something going on within the legal system, the courts, the justice system. And this person is doing everything they can to make sure they win. This is why I'm saying this person is going to try and win at all costs. They do not give a shit what's, what, you know, that, that this, pe this person has the attitude of, I've got nothing to lose because they've lost everything with you walking away or them walking away. Someone walked away from you, however it fits. But there's a lot of lies and a lot of manipulation and I think you're, you're, you're juggling with some energies here. Um, 
that are very, very confrontational. And again, this this is causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of concern. How am I going to deal with this situation? How am I going to deal with the lies? How am I going to, you know, how am I going to come out the other side of this? Very, very clouded, very nervous. There may be, you know, it could be a divorce. Um, somebody's taking you to court for money that they believe they're owed. But for whatever reason, there's a lot of lies and a lot of manipulation going on. Now, I've got the Eight of Swords again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of air sign here. So you really are in your head about this. You are so conflicted. You are so... It's almost like you're torn in two. One day you're strong and you're resilient and you're ready to fight. And then the next day you go right back into your shell. You're right back in your head again. Overly concerned, not sure how to move forward. You don't know what tricks this person's going to play. You, you you don't know what. This is somebody who's got an extremely good poker face because they're not showing no emotion and, and they are saying some crazy shit to try and get what they want. Very, very manipulative. Maybe using emotions, trying to uh, uh, emotionally manipulate you to get what they want. But you're so conflicted, you're so up in your head over this, like you're so confused and... Spirit's saying a lot of the confusion is coming from your own mind. You, you're, you're free of this. If not, you are going to free yourself from this. A lot of the situations that you're terrified of are just happening in your head right now. These haven't actually come into play. You need to remember this person is just using empty threats. That's what I'm hearing uh, from Spirit. Someone's using, <coughs> someone's using empty threats. They can't, they can't come through on what they're threatening you with or what they're... There's no sustenance to what they're saying. Spirit's saying, don't be overly concerned about the threats because they can't go through with them. They can't follow through with them. The good thing with the justice system, it's... it's a, it, ju The justice system is a fact finder. It doesn't go off hearsay. It doesn't go off one word against the other. It needs cold, hard facts, evidence... It's a good word for this reading, actually, evidence. And that's what you need to remind yourself of. If there's no evidence, there's no blame. That's unfortunately the way the justice system works. Let's have a look. What's the Eight of Cups, please, for Sagittarius? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Now, my clarifier cards are never reversed, so if they come out reversed, that's the way they're meant to be. There we go. King of Wands reversed. Ugh. What's the Knight of Swords reversed, please, for Sagittarius? What's the Justice reversed? That card didn't want to come out. It shuffled right back in. Justice reversed for Sagittarius. And the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please, Spirit. Okay. Somebody is going to try and manipulate to get back into your life. Somebody's been very, very manipulative. They want to come back. But they're going to try and do this when they lose. King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very, very angry. Very manipulative. Again, very insincere. This is somebody who takes comfort from other people. They don't bring comfort to the table. This is somebody that takes comfort. Somebody who gets the feet under. And they're not willing to put, you know, this is somebody who doesn't add any ingredients to the loaf of bread you're baking, but expect half of it. And I'm saying that because we've got the page of coins here. This is all about money. There could be something to do with child maintenance as well. Somebody's not paying their child maintenance. They're not paying for the children. And that's why it's going to court and they're using every fucking excuse in the book why they can't pay. Magician. Extremely manipulative energy extremely manipulative this is somebody who thinks that they can get away with whatever they like i think this person is used to throwing excuses and lies out there and people believe in it unfortunately this time it's not going to get believed page of cups over the eight of swords you need to show yourself love care attention affection you're letting yourself go because of this this person because of this energy you're letting them win 
and there is definitely children involved for some of you but you're allowing this person you're giving this person power without knowing it you need to believe that you will come out on top of this situation okay have a final outcome for sagittarius it definitely lies a manipulation sign of pisces there's a lot of unknown issues going on right now but it all will come to the surface wow look at that nine of coins you will come out on top sagittarius whatever it is you will be successful king of swords reversed wow so this person is extremely jealous of you sagittarius extremely jealous because they know that you're going to succeed without them and they can't stand it and they will want to come back they will want to come back but they're coming back with the same old sorry ass excuses the same old lies that they told you in the beginning unfortunately nothing's changed this person has a very <clears throat> a very very depressive attitude they're always down they're always glum they don't seem to see the brighter side of life if you go back to this person or you allow this person in things will just go back to the way that there was before you need to let karma um oh, what's the word i'm looking for i just I don't know if this is because i'm feeling poorly you need to let this play out. This person deserves what's coming towards them. You can't start to feel sorry for them. Because I think for some of you, this person is that good at manipulating to make you feel sorry for them. Can you have a seven energies, please, for Sagittarius? You will be more financially successful on your own. All the, all the lies are going to come to the surface. The truth is going to be seen. And this person's just, they're going to look stupid. They're going to look stupid. Storyteller, wow. Well, that's exactly what you're dealing with, a storyteller. Can I have a spell casting card for Sagittarius, please? But I think you've got your own story to tell once you've got out of this situation. This is, you know, some of you, you could write a book with what you've been through. want one please spirit one spell caster for Sagittarius courage mm, two very very interesting but important cards now the storyteller is it's about identity positive self-definition teaching others how to treat you through the stories that you tell of who you are so you need to start stepping up your game, Sagittarius, and allowing people to treat you like shit and walk all over you. Because by allowing it in the beginning, or not setting the standard in, in the beginning, this is, people are just going to continuously walk all over you. But you've also got some stories to tell. This is a story that you will be able to tell where you can say that um, you come out the other side of this. Truth set you free. Now, the courage card is exactly what you need right now. Your fears relate to a past life. So maybe, you know, there's a lot of past life issues that are not, not sort of helping you with this situation. Your sensitivity is compromised by another's phobia or another's, another person's will. This person or this situation is really getting to you, but it's because you're allowing it. You need to understand because understanding is key to healing you are safe and protected you need to just bite the bullet Sagittarius and just go with it and not look back you need to keep moving forward you need to have the courage to know that you know the lion is the king of the jungle for a reason not because he's strong not because he's the fastest not because he's the wisest because the lion gives no fucks you know, the lion gives no fucks on how big its prey is, how fast its prey is, or even if the, the lion will be eaten alive itself, it takes the risk because it has the courage and love in its heart and, and the faith that it will win. And that's what you need to do today. I'll leave the reading there, Sagittarius. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen which happy by giving me a big thumbs up. This was an energy check-in for the month of March, and I'll see you all again soon.